Hello guys, myself Monish Bada GM. A warm welcome to my YouTube channel. I am currently studying in Vinkateshwar College of Engineering. And in this video, I am going to explain the chemistry topic. The topic is water line corrosion. You all know about the corrosion, right? The corrosion means rusting or the loss of metals and so on so. And let us see the definition or the text definition of an corrosion. The corrosion means the destruction or loss of metals or alloy by surrounding an environment through chemical or electrochemical process or reactions. The examples of rusting are or the corrosions are rusting of an iron or green scales formed on copper ridges or it may be the aluminium corrosion or it may be it may be silver corrosion or the you may call it the silver corrosion as tarnishing of in silver etc etc these are the corrosions you will see in a day to day life or in our surroundings yeah it is also a oxidation process as i said the corrosion simply called as in loss of metal the water line corrosion is observed in the iron or steel water tanks when it is partially filled with the water for a long duration time when uh, the inner part of the portion the tank below the water line is less exposed to the water and it is an anode part and above the water level the half of the portion means i told partially filled no so half of the portion of the tank it is the cathode part which is which the area is not undergone corrosion or it may call it is an unaffected area here the anode part is only it is affected by the corrosion or corrode it is corroded you may see here uh, i'll place a picture yeah here assume it is an iron bar of the tank it is partially filled with the water for a long duration then it is in water level or water line here this part of the tank is or the part is known as an cathode part and this part is known as an anode part so here you may see here bubble type this is a corrode place which is affected so which is the anode part is here affected and cathode part is not affected yeah and let us see these cell reactions on the last of the ppt so let us go to the small experiment related to this yeah see here uh, take a beaker in uh, take a beaker and fill it with the nacl solution and immerse a zinc rod awfully and uh, leave it for an hour or a period of time and then you will observe the electrons are flowing in the water level and uh, under the water level oh, sorry nacl solution and this is a water line right below this where the electrons are flowing uh, electrons or ions are flowing here the zinc rod the zinc element is oxygenated so anode part is and it is an anode part it is a cathode part here the anode part is going corroding or corrosion and it is the area which is unaffected you can call it as cathode yeah we got it right guys then you may call uh, you may ask a question for me yeah uh, how it can be prevented or is there any prevention methods for the waterline corrosion yeah there are many prevention method but it cannot be prevented for the long duration but we can increase its lifespan by uh, taking it their tips tips yeah the tips are pre installation of cleaning pipes or use of stainless steel or aluminium pipes uh, before the installation of any tanks or pipes you should clean the pipe cleanly or uh, if there is any corrosion occurred beforely you should uh, replace with the new one and use of a stainless steel or aluminium before uh, yeah with the iron using of an iron you, you may 
corrode or you may get an waterline corrosion in some of the recent or few years but uh, using often stainless steel or aluminium will not get the those results sorry sorry those results of the waterline corrosion in immediately or in a few years it may take a long years to act on these type of metals the corrosion and mixture of more alloys the mixture of the more alloys using these metals uh, you are not get the uh, you are not getting more uh, waterline corrosions and uh, by up Applying or coating a materials with the special paint, which the area is submerged in the water, so this part will uh, more affected with the corrosion. Right, I told that is the anode part, and so apply with the paint or uh, apply or coat with the paint with the special paint, so you will not get any corrosion in the somewhat uh, for some of the years, and you should. Uh, you should paint after some after those paints are vanished so then you see the cell reactions cell reactions at the anode part what the metal is there metal undergoes an oxidation and it gives an electron and at the cathode part the water undergoes to form an uh, hydroxyl ion and finally ions combine to form in corrosion product so this is the cell reactions taking place in a uh, waterline corrosion in any water tanks or any submerged marine ships etc etc you may see yeah uh, i have some pictures you may see here waterline corrosion here the here an iron ship which is unaffected area it is a cathode and it is the anode part under the water which submerged in the water and for these ships to avoid the waterline corrosion they will apply a anti falling paints the special anti falling paints to restrict it so then it is avoided uh, for uh, some of the years for the corrosion and again they will apply uh, for some what 3 to 4 years gap yeah Thank you everyone. Thank you for listening my words.